Hi everybody, welcome back. My name's Claire. The video I'm about to show you um, is for a triple decker ring pour. So three line, three ring pour panels in one in, in a row on a, on a canvas. Um, to start with, that's not what I had in mind. I had in mind um, a rainbow um, ring pour, but layering puddles on top of each other. So I was going to start with the reds and then come in with the blues and then the pinks and purples on top just to see what effects it had. Um, and I was using some leftover paint. So that's how, what I started out with. Um, but throughout this process, which you'll, you'll see as you watch this, um, my um, idea changed and I ended up doing three separate panels. Um, so three panelled rainbow ring pour this is what happened these are my colors so um five amsterdam colors i've got um persian rose permanent blue violet primary cyan i've got quinacridone rose and ultramarine violet and then i've got graduate um de la Rani graduate acrylic cadmium yellow deep hue five pebio colors um i've got iridescent red blue Thalo cyanine emerald, iridescent green yellow, iridescent blue green, iridescent orange yellow, and then Montmartre old mauve. So the reds and oranges, um, let's just mix them up. So let's layer this into one of these cups. There's not a huge amount of paint, but there's definitely enough paint to, to work with. But that's thickened up slightly it's only been about an hour but that's especially because it's iridescent that's just thickened up so if you find as you're about to pour it out the cup it's just not flowing well enough just um add some more water i'm going to pour down the side oh, it's still do you know it's still slightly thick often when you stir it with a stick to test the consistency it feels a certain way and you think, oh, that's fine. That's, that feels right. So there's a mound on a mound. There's the trace, what have you. But actually, I often find it's when I actually come to tip the cup to pour it in, I can tell whether it's um, pouring nicely or not. So in comparison, that yellow is pouring really well. That's a little bit slower, so that one's obviously a little bit thicker. So I'm going to get two layers of each colour, not big layers. I'm using a 29 by 42 centimetre canvas. Um, I've changed my mind on what I want to do. I was going to use these little bits of leftover. I don't think I'm going to. I think what I'm now thinking, instead of pouring one puddle on the top of the other, on top of the third, um, I'm going to do one, two, three. I'm going to do ring pours and then I'm going to tilt them off the sides. I'm going to put some tape on the edges to stop the paint flowing off the edges and then I'm going to tip it. So I'm going to try and get um, like a three panelled rainbow. To stop the paint falling off the edges, I'm just simply going to get some green frog tape, break off a piece that's um, slightly longer than the, uh, than the width of the canvas, and then I'm going to fold this in halfway. So what I'm left with is a sticky part and a non-sticky part. So if I put the sticky part onto the cam edge of the canvas, so that the non-sticky part just sticks up over the edge. That's just going to create a little barrier, hopefully, to stop the paint falling off the edge. And then 
once I've got the canvas covered, I'll just remove it and hopefully there'll be enough paint to fall over the edge. If there's not, I'll just paint it or I'll do something else. Right, so if we did the red one, then the blue one, then the green one. No, <laughs> red one, green one, pink one. So I'm going to start, I think, with the green one in the centre. I'm going to do a ring pour. It's in a cardboard cup, so I can pinch it, so I can get a really lovely funnel. Um, a ring pour in the centre. that is absolutely beautiful i managed to get that so so neat my only disappointment is i've lost all the turquoise at the edge and the only way to really avoid that is to pour this into a puddle but if i pour into a puddle i'm risking having if it's white puddle white at the edge so i'm i should have either covered the whole thing in white i think or, or not at all right so let's get this right the right way around so i'm going to do the red one over here now this is it's gone a bit high so i'm going to start a bit higher up here i think so just to try and get it in line Those colours are gorgeous. That deep red has re is really pretty. Right, last but not least, the pinks and purples. really happy right i'm going to put some white flow extender down here so that just means that the puddles will be able to push against this and hopefully not roll over themselves as much so it will keep a bit more of the detail Right, so my plan now is just to tilt this. I'm going to tilt it towards away from me, towards you, um, and then I'm going to bring it back. Actually, no, first of all, our torch. Let's get rid of this. So there's quite a few air bubbles. Now, I like um, bursting air bubbles in ring pours because it just adds some little cells, some little speckles. I just think it adds some details. And I often think it just looks quite nice, quite pretty.
Right, so I'm first of all, I put my flow extender down. I'm now just going to tilt um, away from me. See, that red one's going to come off first. Unless I do actually do the opposite and I tilt the bigger distance first. Oh no, the red one's away. The red one must just be a thinner mix. I'm going to lose a lot of that, that's a shame. shame I've got white there okay let's twist it round all right I know I said I was just going to tilt straight down but if I do that, I am losing, I'm getting these white corners where I put the flow extender down. Right, that is looking really pretty. I'm going to take this off now. Just try and encourage that paint to flow over the edge. I'm not happy with these corners. I've just got to get that corner. I cannot stand that white corner. So if I lose my straight lines, I do. But it has to be done because I can't cope with that white corner. So I finished it. I love it. The lines aren't straight. They're not perfect, but just who cares? Um, I In the end, I was actually trying to add some waviness to it because I thought it, it just, yeah, I was trying to add it. But then I thought then I tried to take it out again. I, I'm not sure. So they're more or less straight, um, but they're yeah, just subtly wavy. Now, the border between the blue and green and the pink and purple, I love. Look at that. It's just such a stark contrast. Um, and then over this side as well, the deep mauve, that Montmartre colour is so pretty in this. Um, and mixing with that Pebio iridescent pinky red, it just has some beautiful effects. I'm really happy. The centre of the puddles is really, really neat. Um, I lost the centre of the red one. It was tipped over. Um, I either had more paint or um, it was runnier and then I've still got the center of the purple I was trying to keep the center um, the red has got a little bit disrupted there's something not quite totally mixed in the paint there so it does add a bit of detail um, but really happy with it so I'll be back when it's dry so it's now dry and I love it I'm so so happy with it um, my only question mark is um, I want it in five panels, not three. Um, I, I love this combination, but I just feel like I'm missing maybe the orange and the yellow in there. 
Um, uh, yeah, I think I'm going to do it again, but I longer thinner canvas with five puddles to get a proper rainbow. Um, I reckon if I take the edges, I, I could do it. Um, so let me show you um, some of the details. The colours are just beautiful. I love the mixture of that red and that iridescent pinky colour. So let me just show you all these details. Um, there was obviously a blob of paint in that bit there because it's quite irregular. Um, but I think it just adds to the, the charm of it. Um, beautiful, beautiful centre here. And look at the iridescence of that green. So pretty. And the really thin white lines just gives it that real detail. And then pink and purple. Can't go wrong with pink and purple. So pretty. Um, and just hundreds and hundreds of lines. Um, and the centre. So absolutely love it. Um, but you're going to see another one, I think, because I want an orange and yellow panel. And yeah, I want five panels. Has to be an odd number. Um, let me know what you think. Do leave me any comments, any thoughts you have. Um, please give it a thumbs up if you like it. Great. Take care, everyone. Bye.